guys, it's Kimberly from the Fat Quarter Shop and we have a brand new Itsuema pattern called Fable. It's a little P, which are great crib quilt patterns using fat quarters. This one uses eight fat quarters, just add an accent and a background, and of course, a binding and backing. Let me show you how easy this quilt is. Our first step is to take our fabric C and fabric D squares and cut them on the diagonal twice. I'm gonna use my Matilda mat. I use it whenever I need to make more than one cut. And I'm using my Creative Grids ruler and just lining up the points. We're gonna make four for each block. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the fabric D square. And you're going to cut four of these for each block. And we'll move to the next step. Now on your fabric A squares, you're going to cut on the diagonal just once. For each block, you're going to need four pink triangles and four green triangles. Now on this step, you want to really pay attention to where your fabric C and D's go. On this one, your D's going to go on the bottom, C's going to go on the top. You're going to place those right sides together, sew with a quarter inch seam, and of course, I'm using Color 2000 Aurifil. Your unit will look like this after it's pressed. Then you want to take a fabric A triangle now what I do on this is I place those right sides together and just get everything aligned. Pin, because this is a bias edge and it's going to be wavy, so you want to pin. And when you press, your unit is going to look like this. Now the beauty of this pattern is we made it just a tiny bit bigger than you need so that you can trim it down and that really helps with accuracy so that your block comes out a nice, perfect size. I'm gonna be using a Creative Grids five and a half inch ruler. You just line up your center line, and on these rulers in the center, there's a white circle. You just put that right on your center where your, you know, your points measure. And you're just gonna trim all four sides. This is how your beautiful block is looking. And we are going to be making four of these for each block. And they look so pretty. Our last step in making the block is placing the fabrics according to your pattern. Stitch these a quarter inch seam, quarter inch seam, and then put them together. And this is what your block looks like. Now this is just one simple block from this quilt. I'm gonna show you some different versions and the different fabrics. This is considered your top block unit. But in this pattern, the beauty is in the fabric placement. And if you are gonna make the Fable quilt pattern, you would make bottom blocks also. We just made the top, and that reverses the fabric C and D fabrics. These fabrics stay the same, but these do not. And that's gonna give you the beautiful look on the quilt behind you. And here's how some of the bottom blocks look. And I can't wait to see who all of you are gonna make your Fable quilt for. So definitely comment in the comments below and let us know.